up beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Andy aka the dynamite natural I make natural hair and girl talk videos so if you love this sort of content don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time I post a new video okay so today I'm going to be sharing with you 13 natural hair growth hacks for flawless kinky natural hair the very first thing is add some oil to your shampoo to reduce harshness and also increase moisture shampoos strip the hair of moisture even though we need it to clarify our hair and remove products to build up but it strips the hair of moisture but if you add some oil to the shampoo what it's going to do is going to reduce the harshness or the stripping effect and also infuse some moisture into your hair moisture equals healthy hair equals length retention equals hair growth equals longer hair so so the second thing is use a cheap conditioner to detangle before you deep condition. Usually deep conditioners are thicker and they don't really have that much slip. But a cheap, a cheaper conditioner is cheap and also has enough slip to detangle your hair to reduce breakage. The third thing is if you're one of those who still want to, you know, detangle with your deep conditioners what you want to do is run your hair under the shower for a, a, a short period of time so that it can increase the slipperiness of the conditioner run your hair under the shower to enhance sleep if you choose to use a deep conditioner to detangle the fourth thing is massage your scalp scalp massages increase flow to the scalp blood supply to the scalp and blood carries nutrients to supply to your scalp and so doing it will supply the hair follicles with food and nutrients and your hair will be nourished to grow longer the fifth hack is clarify often to, re to remove product build up so that new products that you keep reapplying every day will be able to absorb into the hair if your hair keeps accumulating products build up at some point it will look as if your products are not working on your hair anymore that is because you have products build up and this build up is not allowing the new products to be absorbed into your natural hair to do what it's supposed to do okay the sixth one is handle your natural hair with care to retain length do not do your hair when you're tired when you're frustrated when you're rushing no don't do that or else you're going to rip off your hair break through your hair and you're not going to retain as much length as you should so you don't do your hair when you're tired and do your hair with so much gentleness handle it like silk okay the seventh hack is monitor your progress because of shrinkage especially if you have type 4 hair type 4 hair has the highest amount of shrinkage so your hair might be growing and you think that your hair is not growing when my hair was um teeny weeny afro and it was growing like i used to monitor my progress but when someone sees me someone will always ask me did you cut your hair again that's because of the shrinkage so most of the times when you're doing your hair and you know you know going through your progress and your regimen and everything sometimes you want to take a step back and actually measure your progress see how far you've come with, within the past two months within the past six months it is a form of motivation we all know that if we do not get motivated when we are doing something we it, we usually get bored and tired and we don't want to do it again but if you have something that is motivating you you will keep going so it's the same thing with your natural hair journey so from time to time you want to see your progress measure your length do your length checks it is going to keep you focused and keep you motivated so the next the step the f one is use cotton t-shirts not towels when you are drying your hair because apart from the towels being more drying to the to our natural hair those hoops on the towel they can get stuck your kinks can get stuck between them and it can cause um breakage you know those hoops can hoop your kings and it can it can cause breakage and you don't want that the ninth thing is enhance nightly protection for your natural hair if you know that scarves do not stay or your bonnets keep slipping up just it means that you have to enhance what you are doing to protect your hair at night it means that you probably want to use your bonnet and then 
a satin pillowcase if you do not have a satin pillowcase i always say use a satin scarf to lay it on your pillowcase so if your bonnet pushes up a bit or your scarf pushes up a bit during the night your edges or any other part of your hair that you know is exposed will still be protected because of the satin or the silk material that is on your pillowcase okay so the 10th thing is or the 10th hack is trim only when necessary do not cut off hair that is perfectly fine do not cut off hair just because you want to stick to a trimming schedule or something if your hair is fine do not cut it off i've heard some people say you should trim your hair every eight weeks if you trim perfectly fine hair you will not retain any length okay yes you should dust your ends from time to time but do not cut do big cuts when your hair is perfectly okay so trim only when necessary trim as necessary and do not trim hair that is perfectly fine okay the 11th hack is avoid detangling on dry hair for me i feel the best way or the best time to detangle your hair is your natural hair to prevent breakage is when it is wet drenched with a lot of slippery conditioner that way you can walk your fingers or your brush or your comb through your hair with ease without it breaking off and also shed hair that is stuck in between the strands will easily come off without tying or knotting itself to other parts of the strands or other strands or other hairs to cause breakage so basically that's that's what it is the 12th hack is avoid heat and chemicals colors should be done by professionals if you necessarily want to color your hair you want to add some color to your hair you can always use you know color wax all these you know color waxes that are everywhere but if you want to get it done done like permanent, permanently done then get it done by a professional if you do not know what to do if you are sure that you know what you are doing then go right ahead but i always recommend that you go to a professional that knows what he or she is doing so and yes that's one and then avoid too much heat do not use too much heat on your hair do not use too much hot tools on your hair if you want to use hot tools make sure that you use a heat protectant and you use them sparingly use the hot tools sparingly so that there's that so the last hack for the day for today is hydration from inside out drink water to moisturize your to drink water to water to hydrate your hair not to, not to moisturize your body oh my god drink water to hydrate your hair from inside out and also moisturize your hair on the outside spray it with water use a moisturizing uh leave-in conditioner or moisturizing product to moisturize your hair so there is that that is what i have for you today those are 13 hacks that if you do it if you practice it consistently religiously you will retain length and your kinky natural hair will be flawless and it's going to grow and become healthy and shine and all of that good stuff and you will love your natural hair so much <laughs> so yeah that is what i have for you today if you have or know any other hacks that I haven't mentioned in this video but you feel will be helpful to someone else who should know then leave them in the comment section I too want to know and someone else can also benefit from it so that that is what I have for you today thank you so much for watching this video if you know someone who will need this video don't hesitate to share it with your friends and with that someone and also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time i post a new video so i think the subscribe button is this side <laughs> wherever it is thank you so much for watching i really appreciate and i will see you in my next video bye